more races are ready, so I won't hold up the race anymore. You're playing Jewel Master. It's a a Genesis platformer. I tested this with a lot of quotation marks because I I couldn't beat stage one and I gave up. But these players are hopefully better than me, so hopefully they can get to stage four. I mean, the other testers got to stage four. I'm I'm, I'm just really bad at these kinds of games. It's a pretty good game if you like these kinds of old school platformers. Players giving each other very good advice in, in the race chat, where he's telling Brosentia to just not die. I, I can agree with this advice, very good advice. Like I said, this is a, a platformer, they control this guy and they have two spells that you can see in the bottom. You have, they have the, currently they have the fire spell and, and the barrier spell. And as the game goes on, you can uh, join different elements to make different spells. But right now, that, that's the only two spells that they have available to them, I think. Oh yeah, Maurice goes into the menu. So you can- oh no, you can make new spells. So Maurice is already making the wave spell instead of the barrier. The, the barrier is really not useful, so that's a pretty good move to remove the barrier right away. The wave is much better, L long range. Because the, f the flame only hits right next to you. I do have more races audio, but since Myth is telling me that, that means it's too low, I guess. There are no lives in this game, so when you die, you you game over and you have to spend a continue. Oh, and Brusentia dies just as I say that to... Thank you, Brusentia. So when you die, you have to spend a, con a continue, but we gave them an infinite continues cheat. Otherwise, this would be really difficult. It's already pretty difficult. So 
this thing in the ground for Maurice was a, a health up. That's why Maurice wanted to, to get it, but he couldn't get it, so the game over for Maurice here too. And we're back to the start of stage one. This game is really mean. I found that going patiently here is, is the best choice. Like just kill everything as you go along instead of trying to rush it. Because a penalty for game over is really big. Yeah, if you try to rush, you'll just happen what happened to Brasencia there. You'll die and go back to the beginning. Or it's also on one, of he one health. Not a good place to be. If you take this slowly, you you can clear this section without taking damage. So let's see if you learn how this section works. Oh my god, that was... Ah. Wow, this game is mean. What I did in that section was I killed both enemies from, from the stairs, like the floor below, because you can shoot up. So the fact that you can't shoot up means that you can kill enemies in different floors, which means you can kill enemies without risking getting hit in some cir cir circumstances. minutes and they're still both on stage one. <laughs> Maurice has one HP again in this part. Yeah, game over. Really needs to go more slowly. It's, go it's going too fast for this game. Even Brasentia, who is probably more used to this kind of game, is still going a bit too fast for my taste. They, they, they took a lot of care when, when making this game, you can see. Even the clowns, they have multiple layers. It's, it's, a, it's a very pretty and it, it controls really, really well. The, the only problem is, is the game is mean and hard. I can tell Maurice is probably hating this right now. It says they do have access to a speed up spell, which none of them has used yet. The speed up spell is good when you're trying to run away from an enemy, for example, and then you can simply use speed up and then you, you'll be faster than the enemy. But Marissa has full HP now, which is much better. It's probably learning the stage, stage one. Yeah, once, once you learn the stage, it's, it's very doable. Sancho using my strategy of shooting up. I also had full HP, Did, didn't even need the, the health pickup. Maybe I would have considered leaving it there, 
maybe coming back if I needed it later. I just picked up the health, pick up at full HP. Whereas now with the extra hit point, very good. Can afford a few more mistakes now. And here's the first boss. You can get it into a loop in which it just jumps over you, yeah. When I was playing I didn't figure out you could make a fireball spell, so I couldn't hit it at all, but with the fireball spell you just get the boss into this loop and it should be pretty easy. It does take a lot of hits. Yeah, no no problem. Or is T-Bags the boss? After 8 minutes of attempts. Resentia is not far behind. Also here at the boss. Gets the boss into the loop. Probably is going to clear it. I don't know why he's trying to use the close range fi fire attack. It's really not what you want to use in, in this boss. No, Boris is just trying all the combinations now. He wants to know everything that he has available. Very good choice. So yeah, when testing I never killed the first boss, so I, I, I don't know what the green ring does. I'll be as surprised as a watcher. According to myth, everything the ring does is useless. So, <laughs> guess it won't make much of a difference. So many flying enemies, oh my god. The, the game can't even handle so many enemies with this, this green at once. Okay, th this firewall spell looks really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, this, this is not going to work. Especially when everything just decides to fly. Like, it can create a protective barrier against this flying enemy, so in that sense it can be pretty good. And now it seems like it's just not doing anything. Okay, Rosen, she's giving up on that one. We're just trying out this high jump spell. I imagine it does what it says on the tin. Yeah, you have a high jump. Who could have known? So now after Maurice game's over, he actually respawns here. It's not like the first stage where you just respawn at the first screen every time. A lot less annoying. How does damage work for these flying enemies? It looks like Percentage is getting hit a lot, but not losing HP.
Maybe they do damage, but it's not a lot of damage, so you can face tank a lot of this stuff. It should be completely absurd otherwise. Where is fighting some... Is this a boss? Is it a skeleton thing? I guess I just try not to get hit and don't try to understand how the game works. Skeleton almost destroyed. Oh, only the head left. Unlike that game we, we played before in Mystery Tournament, you can't only destroy the head, you have to destroy everything else, it looks like. Oh, now it has two fireballs. Double the fire. So much fire. This is true, we have some ominous music in this part. Despite the music, these enemies seem really non threatening. Just walk forward a lot and shoot up. It's not a very interesting screen. So it's a firebird. Did you know Hinotori means phoenix in Japanese? Because he means fire and Tori means bird. That is a fact I believe has never been spoken in commentary in Mystery Fun House. Tell if it's taking damage from, from the fire. In my head, a, a, a phoenix wouldn't wouldn't take damage from fireballs, but who knows? Video game logic can go either way. Yeah, Maurice is trying to get a new offensive spell here, probably. Oh, this just has a fireball. Do you need to do that every time you die? I, I don't know why you went into the menu. For Sensha is switching spells a lot. I think it's just turning on high jump when he needs it and leaving it at speed up the rest of the time. Both reaching a boss at the same time, different bosses.
it really needs better feedback on whether these fireballs are even hitting. The fireballs just disappear. Oh, and Grossensha takes a death. That's gonna cost a lot of time. This bird takes so many fireballs, oh my god. I wasn't the only one to submit a game where bosses have infinite health. Made a wave. Doesn't look very strong. But... Yeah, see, when when the wave hits the bird, it actually makes an, an explosion. When the fireballs hit the bird, it, it doesn't make an explosion. So it doesn't doesn't look like it's doing damage. If I were playing, I would definitely suspect the boss is resistant to fire. It looked like the fireballs were giving an explosion sprite when you hit the feet of the bird. But that that's a pretty small hitbox. With with the wave you can hit anywhere. Maurice is ahead by one screen. Yeah, there we go. The bird is waved down and we got another red ring. So they both clear the screen at the same time, so Maurice is still one screen ahead. Seeing as there are a lot of things in the air, the, the triple fire being spread out 
doesn't look that bad. It's bad if you want to hit something in front of you. In that case, the, the double fire was really strong. Wow, just, just gets a full health drop randomly. Okay, now. Essential Ritz reaches this Phoenix boss. Not a lot of HP. Yeah, I got taken down by the flaming rocks. Has 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 the knowledge. Learn a bit of the lore. And the stage really isn't hard. You just walk forward and jump the flaming balls. Okay, Maurice is reaching some sort of enemy. I have no idea what this is. It's it, it's a turtle. Yeah, it looks like a turtle. Gets rocked in the face. Essential with the third try on this boss, let's see how it works out. didn't learn how to dodge the the rock attack. When the boss is so tanky you have to learn how to dodge the patterns. You can't just damage raise. Okay that, that was pretty good. Warriors gets to the to the turtle again. Oh, you can break the icicles in. That makes this a lot easier. Stage 3, clear. Tricks of death, yeah, yeah. Can agree with that. Good song for this age. There's just so much stuff. I feel like old game design is We've looked back and which old game design is like how people design Mario Maker levels now. You just put a thousand enemies and call that level design. Oh, I, I, I can put dragons. What happens if I put 60?
And some things do a lot more damage than others. Like if you get hit by a dragon, your HP bar doesn't even move, but you get hit by one of these rocks and you lose an entire point. So we also need to learn what is important to dodge and what you can just ignore. Such as this fire snake spell. I don't know if it's useful, but it looks cool. Style points, right? The most important thing. I mean, if it if it's good, that that's even better. Yeah, just as we say, it looks bad, it just destroys everything, but... <laughs> it's the reverse commentator's curse. Every time I call a spell bad, it's, it destroys everything on screen. So Bruce Henshaw just, just wished I called his spells bad before. Was that the boss? Where is that done? Yes, that is the beginning of the prison. Oh. Good to see you here to commentate the last second of the race. I, I was I was walking home from work and I saw the, the dog done. I was I had the stream up on my phone the whole time. I'm like, am I gonna get home before Maurice finishes? Uh no. Uh, I think you wanted to finish before you got home. It was like watching TPC. And, yeah. Oh, he's, he's well, gonna get actually, home. Well, actually, I got home first, so take that, Maurice. Oh, Maurice lost then. He won against Brasantia, but he lost the race against TPC. He won against like every tester, actually, so he did BB. That is a that is a really good time in this game. This game's very difficult. Very fun though. I had a blast playing this. Maurice is still playing. That, that's a good sign. That That is very surprising, especially for like a retro game like this. Yeah, I definitely expected Maurice to be hating this game. But it is very good for a retro game. Like, in spite of having a billion enemies on every screen, controls well and... yeah. It's just fun to play. It's fun to mess around with like the rings. Trying out all the different combinations, finding out your favorites. First time she gets turtled. Yeah, the dragon was was fairly free, actually. It's just, uh, I sad that I couldn't see how Maurice did it. But how I ended up doing it is that um, I found the fireballs pretty hard to dodge. But if you had the double jump and you timed it just right. Uh, you could like jump over the fireballs as he was throwing them. For the first phase, Maurice is just sitting below it and spamming up. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. I wish I tried that. I think it died so fast. Yeah. Oh, that's that's so smart. I stood on the edge and threw triple firewall at it. But now we have the second phase. Why is this not in the goal? It's it's difficult? I don't know. I didn't even play it. It looks pretty difficult. Depends on how much HP it has, I guess. A 
Hoverist? Oh, he doesn't have sound. I realize I just said that. <laughs> That's not gonna work. We, s we said that Maurice continued playing, which was a good sign, but his dot comment wasn't very flattering. <laughs> I guess he was curious to see why the boss was cut out. Yeah. If you hate play a game and empty, you're probably a fool. We have a lot of, like, especially this year, the, the pool is full of freeware games. But Maurice somehow is dodging all of that and getting only retro games. <laughs> yeah, so many retro. There are probably more freeware games than retro games in the pool this year. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, that's been pretty normal for, like, a while. I always try and submit retro when I can. The sad part is I can still think of, like, more retro games in the pool <laughs> that Reese hasn't played. Oh well, yeah, we have more for him for his <laughs> next match. D don't worry, Maurice. The speed up was, was so helpful for me, too. I used it so much. Just being able to like physically dodge things. Your normal speed is pretty slow. When you're slower than the enemies, you can't run away, which is bad. So now we have this fire punch thing. I don't know how much damage this does. Yeah, if you're really close, you can bash it like really fast. Still doesn't know you can punch up to break those those icicles. It's kind of important. It's getting lucky so far. Yeah, I would just I would just dodge the icicles every time. If you stand like a little far away and like just throw fireballs, that also like the boss just pretty much can't even hit you at all. Oh, he gets it. Well played. Getting onto stage four. And stage four, I mean, we know that the boss you can just sit below it and attack. I don't, I don't remember how hard the stage I wish I knew that. is. I didn't find the stage to be all that difficult. Yeah, the superpower wave is, is really fast. This wave is flying! I, I didn't really end up using it because the fireball was just like better <laughs> in like every way. Oh, no, but not in style points. You need style points. So look at how fast this wave is. And this find this mid boss didn't give Maurice much trouble. Let's see. Yeah, yeah just this, this dies just kind of immediately. Place. This is the last screen before the boss. 
if you go down, there's a health up upgrade here. It looked like it tried to go down, but didn't. I think it's later. I think it's like slightly farther. Yeah, it's really trying to find. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, did it. This stage looks, looks easy. Where are the enemies? Yeah, this stage was really. There's a bunch of guys that like throw rocks. Like these guys. Oh, here are the enemies. Yeah, but if you, if you have speed up and you just keep walking. They pretty much can't even touch you. Boss of the goal. Oh, the strat. The strategy. I love it. And he's gonna raise up and fire two fireballs. This is really hard to dodge. I had to double. Oh, he fires four. Yep, using the same strategy. Yeah, the, the strategy is, is just so good. Too good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, also, great time, 39.33. Pretty sure that beats my time. Yeah, but Brasencia did really well. Just competed against Maurice, who did even better. Presentia commenting that we gave him another colorblind game. <laughs> yeah, need to pay more attention to that. And not only the testers, but whoever submits a game, if your game has color coded elements, should probably mark that, that restriction. I completely forgot. Yeah, they were sorted at least. Yeah. Yeah, wow. First, that should be my time by like a minute. So sad. Maurice at least wanted to see what the boss was like, but Sancho just let his continue yeah. right now. Yeah. Maurice, why did you pop into the waiting room? You have permission to join this channel. There yeah. are premises that we have to adhere to. <laughs> Jewel <laughs> <laughs> uh, Master is a game on the Sega Genesis about. Whoa! Walking, right? You just said Sega. Ge what? I don't believe you, Maurice. I, it, it's it's just because the internet calls it that. I can call it Mega Drive if you do. Yeah, I don't believe you. I do have a Mega Drive. It says 16 bit on it. Yeah, it was a pretty, um, I don't know if I'd say nor, it's just like a retro platformer. It's kind of not like some other games just because the, the ring system, but other than that, it's, it's just real retro platformer. Yeah, I guess so. It's, it's the kind of game that I'm really bad at where your controls are very restricted in a way your hit, hitbox is huge. Enemies are like coming from angles where you can't actually shoot them. That's my yeah, favorite the, part. Yeah, it's the real like, just hard to deal with enemies. They come to just like real asshole positioning. Yeah, those those dragons, those birds, those flying scorpion things in the desert. 
<laughs> I had, I don't even know what I did about those. I had to go so slow to beat them. I guess wave would have been better because it's got more of a like potential hit range. Yeah, it was um, it was good to see you play. I mean, it's a, uh, it's definitely a very different kind of platform from what we usually have in MT. At least nowadays, definitely or kind of freeware dominated and like kind of faster paced platformers. You don't see very many things like this or like the Castlevania games anymore. I'm sure some people are very, very happy for that. But you somehow continue to roll retro games. Um, yeah, great. <laughs> oh, you won this <laughs> one, so, you know. Yeah. Maybe this is like... This is like my permission to draw games that are more suited to me from now on. Yeah, who knows? Uh, you're probably going to fight Anasep in Losers 5. That'll be fun. I'm excited to see where, the, where this whole like area of the bracket ends up, because it's like Arrow Fodder, Bright Shadow, Crank the 90, Tog, Anasep, and you, and then whoever loses the matches up top. I'm really excited to see who, who makes it out of that. Cause there are some, <laughs> there's some real killers in that pool right there. Yeah, all the upsets in in the winner's bracket means that loser's bracket is such a pool of sharks right now. It's a scary yeah, it's place be so to be. Cool. I mean, my hope is that we have all eight new top eighters this year, because that could potentially happen. That would be really cool. But then well, I'd also have to I'm root against, against my buddy... I'd have to root against my buddy Maurice, so... Yeah, I'm against It's impossible that. to tell whether it's good or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. The quote was, it's impossible to tell whether it's bad or not. Oh, I'm cancelled now. Uh, I didn't find the HP up in the ice cavern. Is, do you have to jump across the pit? Uh, what did the patron say about that one? It says take the upper path. I took the upper path. I was as upper as I could visibly get. Yeah, I have I have no idea. I I remember getting it. I remember just like stumbling across it. Um, these health upgrades are so important. Yes. If, if you if you try to do the rest of the game on two HP, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, it's it's impossible. It reminds me of a uh, Cyber Shadow when we raced that, and uh, on release there was a bug on the console versions where no health upgrade spawned, so I had to do like the entire game at four <laughs> HP. <laughs> oh no! It was it was impossible. That's why that game took me like nine hours. And then yeah, the health it, upgrade it, in stage two, it was like, thing. it's a it, health upgrade in stage two, it says, in a well. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. is this the well when I fell down the hole? I don't know. I died, I died like twice, and I just, I just stumbled across it. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, luckily. It. It's such a retro thing, like, more health, like, it, the game's just going to be, like, practically impossible without it. Yeah, other than that, I haven't looked at the schedule because I was watching this match on my phone as I was walking home from work, uh, watching you play. Looks nice. like... There was a match scheduled for 35 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, 15 minutes past the hour, exactly 15, for reasons unknown to us, Lance Drago versus Poltergeist. Um, I don't know if they waited, or what happened to that. Yeah, I see knows? that Lance Drago banged Poltergeist in... Discord a Lance few Drago was minutes in ago. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if Botigos is around or, or not. Oh, I saw the channel light up. I was so excited. Damn it, we were. Yeah, if they, <laughs> if they pop up real soon, maybe we'll see it. But if not, then we have like just, uh, three and a half hours till the next match. That's uh, that's quite a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll probably drop stream now because I, I have to leave in an hour, so I wouldn't be comfortable getting the next one, even if it happens. I have to go right. too. So. Yeah. So I guess I'll pick it up if it happens. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so maybe. Mystery Fun House, maybe we'll see each other in five minutes, maybe in three hours. Who knows? But that was it for the duo master race. And 
Yeah, I guess I'll just drop stream now. Yeah.